On this episode of China Uncensored, first dead pigs, now angry, plague-ridden birds. Visit beautiful Shanghai. Hello and welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host and visionary shaman Chris Chappell. The gods are angry! At least, you'd be forgiven for believing that if you're, say, a Chinese villager who lives somewhere in the vicinity of Shanghai. First, tens of thousands of local pigs died and fell into the Huangpu River under mysterious circumstances. Then you start hearing about new cases of the dreaded bird flu striking dead four people in the region and two nearby. But for sophisticated middle-class urban types, it's a godsend. Shanghai's finally catching up in the ranking for top cities facing imminent apocalyptic disaster. After all, for years, Asia's biggest and most prosperous city was Tokyo, where the city's most popular form of recreation is watching itself be crushed by space moths or decimated by bioengineered pseudo-mystical cyborgs that are trying to obliterate mankind. Or something like that. That one went a little over my head, to be honest. Anyway, in comparison, a river full of pork and a new strain of deadly superinfluenza seems almost mediocre. But Chinese authorities don't seem to mind. They've reported on both stories without even seeming to try for a massive cover-up. The news coverage was a little slow and it lagged behind public reporting on Weibo and other websites. But still, the news actually reported on something big, bad, and dangerous happening in China. That's like Russian news agencies reporting that Vladimir Putin throws like a girl. Of course, it's worth looking at some historical context. When the crisis over SARS hit in late 2002, news was relentlessly suppressed until so many had been infected that it would have been very hard not to acknowledge the problem. Eventually, thousands caught the disease and hundreds died, and the failed cover-up gave the Chinese regime a major publicity black eye. This television station was actually one of the very few media that initially broke news of the SARS crisis. Now Chinese citizens, using Weibo and similar tools, are also able to push official media into reporting on some stories, but only the facts they absolutely have to. But when it comes to problems that no one has publicized online or that are totally censored from the Internet, there's still no guarantee the Communist Party will even acknowledge their existence. For instance, are there any unknown bird flu cases besides those already reported? Did those pigs communicate any diseases to human? Who knows? So for Shanghai residents, the best way to stay safe might be to keep your cell phone handy, take pictures of any weird animal corpses you come across, and try to get them online before the black vans show up. As for those outside China, why should we care about a few censored epidemics here and there? After all, Shanghai is so far away and germs are really, really small. It seems very unlikely they could travel all the way to somewhere I'd be affected. Well, that's all for today. Hate to run, but I got to get to the arrivals terminal at the JFK airport. Yeah.